Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft bucket server for Minecraft 1.7.10. Now, what you want to do firstly is visit the description and under downloads there will be three links. You want to click them all. So uh, the first one is just going to take you to log me in, Hamachi, which is just a program what allows other people to join your uh, server. So you will need this. Um, the next one is WinRAR, which is just a program what allows you to open RAR files. And then the last one will just take you to Mediafire. And uh, this is just a download I've put together to make the whole process a bit easier. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go to Log Me in Hamachi. You want to tick this uh, condition of use and you want to click download now. Uh, so just get the unmanaged version. Once you've done that, you just want to click on it and uh, then just install it like you would with any other program. So uh, that should be pretty easy. And once you've done that, it should be on your desktop just like that. So uh, once you've got that, you can close this. And then for WinRAR, uh, it's basically the exact same thing. If you have a 32-bit computer, click the first one, and then 64-bit if you have 64-bit. So uh, yeah, just click that, and uh, then just install it like you would with any other program. So once you've got WinRAR, uh, you're good to go. So you can close this. And uh, now for the last thing, you just want to click Download here. So click that, and uh, this is just going to start downloading. And uh, once it's downloaded, you just want to drag it to your desktop. Okay, so just like this, to your desktop. So now, on your desktop, you should have Minecraft Bucket Server and Logby and Hamachi. So once you have them two, you can close this. And uh, now what you want to do is uh, get this Minecraft Bucket Server. Uh, don't worry if it doesn't look like this. Uh, you just want to right-click on it, open with WinRAR. So if it does show up there, just click that. If it doesn't, uh, click Choose Default Program more options and you just want to find WinRAR on this list so click that again if it doesn't sh if it still doesn't come up scroll to the bottom until you see look for another app on this PC click that and then just choose WinRAR so once you've done that scroll to the top and just click that so now we have this open what you want to do is uh, just click on this file here just Minecraft bucket server and you just want to drag it out to your desktop so just like that so now you should have Minecraft Bucket Server on your desktop. So now you have that, you can close this and you can also delete it as well. So now you should have Minecraft Bucket Server as a folder and you should have Log Me in Hamachi. Okay, so now what you want to do, uh, you just want to select this file, right click, rename. Uh, you don't have to do this, but you can rename it. Um, just bear in mind that this is the folder with your server in. So name it like server or, you know, whatever you want. Um, and once you've done that, you want to go into it, so just double click on it. And then what you're going to see is uh, these three files. So this is uh, basically just your server.jar, and then these two are going to be your starters. So what you want to do first is just double click on this one. So just double click on that. And uh, this is just going to basically load up the server and uh, get all the required files. Okay, and uh, since we are running it the first time, it's going to come up with this message. Uh, you just want to press any key. And now what you want to do, uh, this is just new with Minecraft, uh, you have to open this EULA um, text document, uh, so just right click on it, so just click on EULA, right click, open with notepad, so just click that, and uh, now it's going to open this, and where it says false here, you just want to highlight false and change it to true. Just like that, then file, save, and uh, now what you can do is just double click on this starter.bat again and uh, it should load up all the files like it should. Okay, so if it worked, it's going to say done and you're going to see a heap more files. Um, so if that is the case, what you can do is close this and uh, you can delete this starter alternate. Um, if it doesn't work, uh, what you want to do is uh, just get this starter alternate. You want to right click on it, edit. And uh, in these brackets here, uh, what you want to do is you just want to type the direct um, path to your java.exe. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, just look it up. It should be pretty easy. But you just want to type in your path there, then file, save, and uh, you just want to run that. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, so, you know, if the alternate works, then delete this. If uh, that works, delete that, and so on. So um, I'm just going to delete that because the normal one works for me. And uh, now what you want to do is uh, just get this log me in Hamachi, and you just want to double click on it. Okay, so now it's going to start Hamachi, and you just want to click this power button here. So click that. 
Okay, so now we are powered on. What you want to do is just right click here, copy IPv4 address. So click that. Now you want to go back to your server folder and uh, you want to get this server properties file. You want to right click on it, open with Notepad. Then what you want to do is uh, just, just uh, drag it to the side and then where it says server IP, you want to look for that and you just want to click uh, just on the equals and then you just want to paste that. So right click, paste. Okay, so now you should have server IP equals and then the thing you pasted. Um, so also what you can do here is you can just edit a couple of stuff. So like PVP, if you want to turn that off, just highlight true and change that to false. And uh, that's basically the same for every other thing. So like uh, allow flight and so on. So once you've got all of that, uh, just go file, save. And now you can close that. And now what you want to do is just double click on the starter.bat. So now it's just going to open the server um, with your Hamachi IP. Okay, so now uh, what you want to do is uh, where it says network, you want to go to Hamachi, you want to go network, create a new network, and uh, basically here you just want to put in any random stuff, um, but what you want to make sure is you want to be able to remember it, um, because basically for your friends to join your server, um, they need to join this network. So make sure you remember the password and the ID. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, Lucas12345678. The password123. You know, doesn't really matter. Then just press create. Wow, really? That's taken. Okay. Um, random numbers. Okay, uh, there we have our network, and uh, now basically, for your friends to join your server, as I just said, uh, they need to download Logby and Hamachi their self, and they want to go network, join, and then they just want to put in your network ID details. So once I've done that and joined it, they will be able to join the server. Okay, so now to join the server yourself uh, and for your friends, uh, you want to go into Minecraft, obviously. Um, you want to make sure that LogMe and Hamachi is up um, anytime you want to join the server or others want to join the server. So make sure that's up. Also make sure the server's up, obviously. Uh, so yeah, just go into Minecraft, uh, play. Okay, so now to join the server, click on multiplayer, direct connect, or you can add it. Uh, and then in the server address, what you want to do is you want to get your IPv4 address. Uh, so it should already be copied, so just press Control v and that's going to paste into there and that's the IP you want to give your friends so once they've in your Hamachi network uh, then they can type in this address and if the server is up they can join so you want to go to that then press join server and you will be joining the server okay so now as you can see we are on the server and uh, if we go back to this server log we can see Luke has to join the game uh, also you can do commands and stuff um, but that's not really anything to do with it um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, so if there is any errors, um, there can be a lot uh, with the batch file and stuff. So, uh, you know, just comment and I'll try to help you. Um, also, to stop the server, you just go to the command prompt and then type in stop, enter, and uh, just press any key. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so just make a network, then uh, make your friends join it. And then once they're in your network, you just uh, run the server and uh, then if they put in the IP uh, they can join your server so yeah that's basically it and I'll see you all later